Hey everyone, this is Drew Wilson. In this video, I'm going to walk you through creating a fully featured blog in FireEarth and show you just how easy it is to work with Titan's CSS interface and how it requires almost no technical skills whatsoever. All you need to know is some basic knowledge of HTML and CSS. And by the time you're done watching this video, you should have the knowledge necessary to create your own blog in just three to four minutes. So to set this up, we'll pretend that the design we have here we created in Photoshop and we just finished coding it up in HTML and CSS. And all the content you see here is static content and it's just right inside of the HTML page. So for the first thing we need to do is we need to copy over our design files into our Fireft public folder. Once they're there, we can now work with them. So we'll go ahead and open up the blog HTML file. I'll add in some numbers here so you, and save that so you can see that this really is just static values here. You can see I added it there. So all this is just static. Nothing's being pulled from any database or anything. Also, in your HTML head tag, you want to make sure that you're including jQuery and the fire of JS so that way Titan will actually work. So the first step for us is to go ahead and pull down a blog for us to work with. So we'll go ahead and add a class to this div, which is a holder for all of these divs here, this whole blog, and we'll add a class fr blog, and then we could get a specific ID for a specific blog but in this case, I want it to be dynamic, which will pull down the value from the URL. So the last value here is general. So it will pull that down um, and use that as the blog lookup. So it will then look for a blog with a search engine friendly title of general. So that's what dynamic does. It goes ahead and looks into the URL to get its information. So now that we have that, I'm going to give it an option of RSS. So that way the RSS feed will show up. So I'll save that, go back out to Safari, and as you can see the RSS is now here when I refresh. So now we have the blog information and we can work with it. So let's go ahead and fill out this blog area here with all the dynamic content rather than just the static content. So what I want to do is I want these template elements here to replicate for every single entry that we come across. So I've wrapped it in a blank div here, and I'll give it a class of fr entries. And for every entry that we come across, it will replicate uh, these template elements here. So next we'll move on to the uh, entry title. Go ahead and remove the static element, give it a class of fr entry title. And we'll add an opt category, so that way the uh, URL for this entry um, has the blogs category inside of it. And we'll move down here to the uh, comments and we'll add an fr comments link and then we'll change this right here, take out the static elements and change that to be fr comment count. And I also want to make sure that I add in option category here as well so that way the uh, the URL for this also has the blog category in it. So we'll go ahead and save that and check out Safari to see the progress. And as you can see now, every uh, entry has its own title, um, but it still has all the uh, static content here. So for every entry that we came across, it's getting its own title and correct comment count, um, but it has all of the other static text. So we'll go ahead and change all of that right now. So we'll remove the, uh, the static date here and add in a class of fr date and then we'll add in some options here. We'll give an option of full month to show the full month all spelt out and then we'll give it an option of year to have a year inside of the date and the time. And then we'll remove uh, this author, give that a class of fr author. And then right here, this is all my uh, blog content right there, actual text, so we'll replace that with fr text. And as you can see, the HTML ends up being much cleaner, and uh, we'll check that out on Safari so you can see what it looks like. And now for every entry, it has the correct uh, time and date, has the correct uh, blog text, as you can see. So next, we'll go ahead and update the sidebar. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add in all the different blog categories here. So we'll do fr blogs, which will go ahead and replicate the template elements inside of this class, which are these, uh, for every blog that it comes across. So we'll go ahead and remove that static text there and add a class of fr name. 
and then the fr name will also append the Seth title for this blog to the href attribute. So we'll go ahead and give it a blaze tag of blogs URL. And so now the fr name will be appended to the end here of the blogs URL. And this blogs URL will return the actual URL I set up in the admin for my blogs. So that's set up. Let's move up here to the entries. And we want to get all the entries and order them by popularity. So we'll do fr entries and option popular. And then we'll limit it to just three. So we'll take these out because they all get replicated. We only need one set in here. Give it a class of fr entry title and then also a uh, option of category. So that way the correct URL is, is uh, displayed. Next we'll move up here to the form and we'll make this thing hook up with Titan here. So we'll add fr search and then we'll create a search. And then if we want to search the entries, we'll add an option here for entry so it knows to search only the entries. And then we can give it a limit of 20. So it will only display 20 results. And now your form is pretty much ready to go. The only thing we need to do here is send over a search query. So we'll add a class of fr search text so it knows that this is the text coming across to search for. One last thing I'm going to add here on the form is another div for the class of fr search loading. And what that will do, that will go ahead and add in this loading text when the search is loading. Next, I want to set up some search result elements so that way we can see what's returned to us. So I'll go ahead and add in a div with a uh, class of fr search error holder, and this will be returned when there's no results uh, or there's an error on the search. And so I can go ahead and any uh, element that I add this class fr search close to will be uh, close this holder element when it's clicked. So anytime I would click this anchor tag here, it's going to close this whole div here and hide it from view. Uh, the next option here is fr search query, and that is whatever I searched for. So if I, in the search box, if I entered me and I clicked go, um, this would show up here. Me would show up back in the uh, search query element. Next, I want to add an element to display uh, search results when they actually come back with some results. So we'll add a div here with a class of fr search results holder. And again, you can have fr search close here. Attach that to any uh, element, and it will be uh, it will close the parent on its on click, and then there's the fr search query, so we can see what we search for, and then down here we have fr search results, and this is uh, like a loop, so any elements inside of it, the h3 and the hr, will be replicated for every entry or result that comes back. So for the h3, I want to give it a class of fr entry title, and make sure we get the category, the blog category, into the URL there, and then I'm set to go on that. And lastly, I'm going to want to add fr hide on search. And what this does is any, any element that I give a class of fr hide on search, the element will be hidden when we click the search button. And then it will be reshown when we click the uh, fr search close. So we're fully set up now. Let's go ahead and check that out in Safari. We'll go ahead and hit refresh. And as you can see, the blog categories are here now. And we can click on business and we'll see a whole different set of uh, blog entries and general has its own set of blog entries and the uh, entries are listed here by most popular and then we have the uh, search right here so we'll go ahead and try search and it's telling me nothing was found we'll try something more common hit search and here are my results and all the links work and I hit close search and the blog that I was looking at appears again so that's all there is to building a blog with FireEft. Titan makes it extremely easy and extremely simple, and I hope you really come to enjoy developing with FireEft. So thanks for watching.